Ooh, what is going on, my dudes? Welcome to Work in Progress, the daily video series where I document my studio practice as a full-time gallery artist while showing you what it takes to get here and stay here along the way. I had a bit of a, some family stuff to do this morning, uh, and you know, I was kind of like out of ideas for a video today, because I was like, man, I I'm not really gonna get a chance to get in the studio and do like a full day of painting, but Fortunately, my mom reminded me that um, my print packing video was a bit incomplete because well, I didn't really show you how I packed them. You know, I kind of got everything ready up to the point and I didn't do the final stage. So today we've got a bit of a packaging feast here set on the table and it's just got the various components that go into a single print. So very quickly, we've got the print itself, and this one is Practice Makes Perfect. And then we've got our sleeve, or this is the little cardboard protector that it goes in, and then these are our Wojak stickers that you guys have seen. And we've got the, you know, we've got the regular guy, and then we've got the seething Wojak. And then we've got our thank you note, thank you Dusty, with the dead cat on it. And then we've got our packaging sleeve. So really quickly, let me show you how I get these guys done. So here we've got our Practice Makes Perfect print and I'm trying to be conscious of holding it here in such a way so I can grab a nice uh, little thumbnail for it. But here we've got Practice Makes Perfect, hand embellished, signed and numbered. And then we've got our little tissue paper here which we are going to wrap in ever so gently. Wa bam, wa bam, wa bam. Well, bam and then we carry him over I don't like to use a whole lot of tape because it just becomes a hassle for you know on your end to take it out and then you know you could just risk tearing stuff etc so I try to keep it you know just fairly loose and then we've got our little guy in here and again this guy does not get taped either just so that it can come out nice and easily and then we've got our stickerinos if I could pick them up at some point our stickers. Look at those guys. Man, look at them glisten, bro. Look at that glisten. That's so nice. That's so nice looking. That was just for the uh, another thumbnail. But yeah, these are really nice stickers, man. Holographic, Wojak, Hollow Jack, whatever you want to call them. And then, you know, again, we just plop these guys in here as well. And lastly, we've got our thank you note. Thank you, Dusty. Much appreciated, much love. Got that there. Close this guy up. And then we've got our nice sleeve here. Bubble wrap sleeve. And this guy's just gonna keep it nice and rigid. And we give it the big insert. Peel back this bit of tape here. And then we seal it. Now on the other side here, we've got our label printed and ready to go. And it's got his address and mine, so I'm not gonna reveal it because I'm not a doxer like that. We're not gonna dox anybody. Um, but yeah, it's rigid and ready to go. And that's how we get our prints done, my dudes. So for larger ones, uh, if I'm recycling a tube like this one, you know, I like to upcycle used tubes and stuff like that. I will, if I can, I'll just spray paint over any address kind of info. And yeah, it kind of looks a little bit shitty, but you know, it's not the biggest deal. So then we've got our tube here. And then he'll dry off. And while he's drying, we're gonna pack Kellen's order. Now Kellen is getting, he ordered a certain size of a print, but because I love him so much, I'm sending him a big boy. I'm sending him this big boy. So Kellen's getting this big dude. He ordered an eight by 10, but I wanna give him the big boy. So we've got that here.
and we've got our tissue, tissue paper. It's actually pretty cool because Kellen pretty consistently comments on, you know, channel stuff, so I'm sure he's going to see this and will be simultaneously chuffed and relieved that his print is finally on the way. <laughs> So for these big ones, we usually have to use a couple of sheets here. So we've got one, two, let's see how we do with two. Actually for this one, uh, because of the resin on it, I have to roll it uh, the other way. So this guy is getting rolled up long ways. And so we give him a rollover lengthwise. We've got the other boy in there. And then we tuck these guys in. And that just keeps it nice and secure. And then we come over to our tuberino. put a little bit of tissue paper in here to keep it protected, but it's not letting me slide the tube in, so we just grab it again. Make sure these are tucked. nice and tucked in and then we've got thank you Kellen our note here well this guy tuck him in there as well and last but certainly not least we've got our stickers here we've got one mad Angry Hollow Jack. And regular Hollow Jack. Both glistening. We've got those and then and one, two. And then we pop the lid on. And then we've got our tape roll here. Secure it nice. Nice and nice like. And then we've got our label that we are going to put on right here. And now our label is on and ready to go. So yeah, dudes, just kind of a quick one on, on the um, final stage of the packaging process. Um, it's all very, you know, very straightforward, pretty fun. Uh, there's kind of a combination here of the tubes and the flat pack, so it just depends on what I've got. Uh, sometimes I've, if uh, you know, tubes aren't working or if I'm out, I'll use the flat packs. It's a little bit more uh, labor intensive on my end, but it's ultimately a bit better for you guys if you're ordering a small print because it's just perfectly flat. Sometimes does run the risk of getting bent, but I haven't really had a problem with that yet, especially you know when I write do not bend on it, they usually get it. So yeah, man, I'm going to get these dropped off and probably just do some cleaning around here in the studio and getting ready for tomorrow. See you guys later.